All right. How's everybody doing? Good. Good, Good to see y'all. Back at the, at the OC. Yeah, it, it feels good, you know, just to get back, um, really just in football in general, just from, from the season last year was such a joy. It was a lot of fun. Um, like I said before, familiar faces for me, but um, now we're back at it, you know, short off season, which will trade off any, any, any year, and uh, we get back to it. Matt, what do you guys lose in, in Juju moving on, and, and how do you re replace him, fill that void? Yeah, Juju did such a great job last year coming in, learning the system. Uh, you know, in general, those new guys last year, it, just working through the timing element of the routes. And, and I think he did such a great job that you could see it click with Pat, um, you know, really towards the end of training camp and then taking it into the season. He had a great feel in, in different zones and just kind of understanding the offense. So he's also a vet. You know, he has some, some good experience. So, um, we, we understand that and we wish him the best, but at the same point in time, we love our wide receiver room right now. The guys are competing and um, it's, it's at a point right now that is always fun when there's new guys that come in from other places or rookies um, for them to learn who Pat is and the other quarterbacks and work, work through that, that cohesion that they, that they have. But Juju, great player, and, you know, but we've got a lot of great guys here we like to. There's been a lot of stuff about Kadarius potentially being this top mm -hmm. receiver for you guys. What makes him that internally for you? Well, I think we all see um, what he can do when the football's in his hands. And, again, the same type of deal. He comes over halfway through the season. It's a whole new offense. He's got to learn um, the ins and outs. And, and, and so you have that point. And he was able to do that. And it's exciting now for us to be able to take that to year two and, and build that relationship with Pat. But he's super talented with football in his hands. And he's, he's been that way his entire life in his football career. Are there things you're uh, working on with Pat during the offseason this year, specific uh, things as far as uh, in, in, instead of general improvement with him? Sure. Um, yeah, I would say that for us, you know, he's – that he does so many things really well. So you want to try to find the things that he can either improve at or um, even if it's – you can always go back to footwork and timing with any quarterback. And we try to stress that. Uh, but at the same point in time, too, I think the other thing would be working with his progressions, getting to, to number three and four is always another thing that instead of maybe trying to force a throw here or there, which I thought he did a good job last year of, of making smart decisions, work into that third, fourth, and sometimes that fifth progression in the play. So um, really in training camp, we'll, we'll really be able to focus on that with the pads. I just want to ask you about the makeup of the wide receiver. Obviously, you guys don't have maybe a clear-cut number one traditionally, but it seems like some depth there. How does that just affect the right of the offense? Yeah, it's for it's competition, and I think any type of competition that you have always um, brings the best out of everybody. And the the one thing that you see w with you know Coach Reed, Brett Veach, uh, Patrick, and what they've done over all this time together is um, no matter who it is, whoever the name is, uh, whoever the experience is. Um, they do a great job of making it work for a lot of different reasons because of who they are and. And when you have a bunch of guys that come in that are competing for different spots, and um, it just it's fun because you feel the energy every single practice. There's no one taking a day off. They're out there. And now it's just a matter of um, working through what we worked through last year with Juju and Quez, that timing in the, at, during this time of OTAs, figuring that out with newer guys that have come in here. And, um, and that, that's to, as a coach, when you start putting in plays to try to get guys and see what they can do in certain routes, that's, that's what it's about, that process. Matt, what, Matt, Matt, Andy always says that he really enjoys doing the scheme evaluation mm -hmm. after the season. Um, being in your previous role doing the scheme evaluation and then obviously be, being promoted to OC, mm -hmm. how did that best serve you as to how you want to make an imprint on the offense now? Sure. Well, again, everybody here knows, you know, I was fortunate enough to come in here in 2013 with Coach and, and kind of be there to, to, to be a part of the process of implementing the system that we run. And that's evolved immensely in, in the time, in that time till now. Um, but then you have the scheme eval. Every year is different. And um, we're really hard on ourselves um, to, to be in the top three every year in almost all categories. We want to do that. So, but there's, there's some 
areas of improvement that we have that we know we can get better at without telling the whole world. We know what they are. And internally, we're working on that. And that's the challenging part that keeps you going as a coach and as a player, wanting to be great in those, but not lose where you are really good situationally. So that that's, for me, just a part of the, the process. Will we be able to see your fingerprints on this? Or, I mean, just the average fan, are they going to be able to tell the difference in the offense? I don't think so. I think for, for us, um, that's the, the beauty of what Coach Reed does. This all starts and ends with him. And in the end, uh, you know, what I think one of Coach's greatest strengths is is, is delegation. Um, he's really good at that because he trusts his, his staff um, in all phases, offense, defense, special teams. But um, at the same point in time, he also, one of his greatest strengths is um, being able to adapt and change every year. So I just want to be able to help in that area just with every other coach that's in here. So I wouldn't necessarily go that far, but you, there'll, there'll be some differences, and I think that's what keeps it exciting and new and fresh for everybody. Last two, we'll go Okay. And, and Coach, like you mentioned, you got a young, fluid receiver group, mm -hmm. and you've also got Connor stepping up into a leadership role for that group. Sure. What do you see in him that tells you that you know, he's the right guy and the right coach for that group right now? Yeah, that's a great question. And, and Connor, I think, has um, internally, when we're in the building, we get to see every day how these coaches are in front of their players. And another thing that coach does is he does a great job in the offseason that, again, no one sees, but he gives a lot of um, uh, responsibilities to the young coaches, quality control coaches, assistant coaches uh, by, per, by position. Connor's done that. And I think what better way to interview for that type of position than doing it every day in your role that you're in, which was the last previous year, couple years. So um, he, he Connor has great strengths. He's going to grow like all of us every year. He'll get better. But um, it's also the player's job, too, to know that and to help out and help each other out. So that's, that's the fun part. Okay. Coach, uh, Clyde obviously is coming into this year. He's not going to get the, the fifth-year option. He's had some highs and lows on the field, been hurt here and there. What have you seen from him this offseason getting ready for this year, and what do you expect out of him as yeah. you move towards just a, a great attitude. I've always, you know, respected him from afar. Um, when I was in Chicago, just kind of noticed him as, as a player. And then when he came here to Kansas City and got drafted and the process of where he was and for me to meet him last year and see who he is, um, he's done a great job of just really um, focusing on right now and everything he can in practice, in the, in the meeting rooms, um, and just being a leader, you know, for, for, for him to be able to uh, understand our role with him, his role with us, and um, it's a very poor, important position, and his attitude has been phenomenal. Thanks, everybody. All right. Good to see you all.